We want to welcome the month of Ramadan. It is known as the month of the Quran. It is known as the month of the Quran. It is wrong for us just to start Ramadan and we open the Quran. You know, people say, okay, Ramadan started. Did you start your khatma? You say, yes, I started it. So we start from the beginning, from Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. We get to Alif Lam Mim and we continue. And every day we put a marker. And we say, by the time 29 days are up, I must be finished these 30 at least once. That's good, but it's not good enough. To be honest with you, there is always room to improve. Why are we not reading the Quran now? I mean, what's wrong? We might not see Ramadan. Do you agree? How many of you, including myself, have a guarantee that we are actually going to see the first day of Ramadan? Can anyone raise their hand and say, I'm definitely going to see the first day of Ramadan? Anyone? No one. Not at all. So start from now. And this is why the hadith says, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ bin You will be rewarded for your deeds according to your intentions. So you start saying, Ya Allah, this is your kalam. It is your word. Whether it's Ramadan or not, it is still your word. And Ya Allah, I'm starting to read it from today. And I want to encourage you. You see, we have so many talks. And mashallah, even at this venue, we've had so many talks. And so many brilliant scholars from across the globe have come and spoken. The reality is, have we made an immediate resolution? Question. Have you ever sat in a talk and made an immediate resolution to say, here and now, I'm starting this? That is the winner. That is the winner. This is why I say, we spoke about fasting and we said, inshallah, make a resolution. We spoke about tahajjud, we said, make a resolution. Have you noticed? So I hope you made one of the two. We spoke, now we're speaking about the Quran, make a resolution. Start tonight. Don't say, okay, tomorrow morning, first thing I'm starting, too late. Tomorrow, you might not see tomorrow. I'm, I'm making an intention as soon as I leave from here, or before I leave, I'll pick up the Quran from here, one of the masahif, and I will read the Arabic one verse with its meaning, then I will walk out. Possible. Or, today we have the gadget, known as the phone. You choose the translation you want. I prefer the Sahih International. I find it to be very easy in language. And subhanallah, read the Arabic text. Learn how to read it. Nowadays, you have a little button on your phone, depending on the application you are using. It will recite the verse for you and you can repeat it so you can correct your recitation. And choose which reciter you want. You want to have this reciter, the other reciter, mashallah, you will have them. Touch of the button. But we know how to use the application of the bank. Why? Because it's important. We know how to use the application, the other applications of WhatsApp. You know, I asked someone uh, a few moments ago, do you have WhatsApp? He says, I have WhatsApp, not just me, but even my trouser has WhatsApp. Subhanallah. If you don't have WhatsApp in this age, you are nobody. That's what some people say. Subhanallah. I would like to think the idea is technology. To keep in touch. To keep in touch with who? With everyone else. Brothers and sisters, keep in touch with your maker. You need him more desperately than anyone else. Wallahi, and I'm serious. Keep in touch with your maker, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You need him more than anyone else. So you have WhatsApp, do you have the Quran on your phone? Do you have it?